60 years ago today, crews started building what would eventually be called the eighth wonder of the world. The Houston Astrodome has hosted many sporting events and concerts over the years. Despite its place in the history books, the dome faces an uncertain future, as we learn tonight in Backstory. When Houston civic leaders met on January 3rd, 1962 to signal the start of construction, it wasn't called the Astrodome yet, just the Domed Stadium. It was the vision of former Houston Mayor Roy Huffines, who wanted a covered stadium for the new Houston Major League Baseball team, known back then as the Colt 45s. Architects designed a massive 18-story building that covered just over nine acres. And of course, it was fully air-conditioned. The Astrodome opened to the public in 1965 and during its decades of service played host to the Houston Astros baseball team from its opening until 1999 and the Houston Oilers NFL football team from 1968 to 1996. Along the way there were rodeos, monster truck rallies and a who's who of great entertainers who drew thousands of fans. It became a lifeline when Hurricane Katrina struck New Orleans in 2005, thousands of evacuees were bused to Houston and housed in the Dome. But the Astrodome became obsolete, and by 2008, it no longer met Houston's fire code. Voters turned down a proposal to upgrade it in 2013, and now it sits abandoned. But recently, a group wanting to save the Dome is looking for ideas about how to repurpose it. One proposal would strip the dome down to its steel framework and create a public space for people to walk, bike, even swim with a tree-lined park surrounding it. One thing is clear, now that the Astrodome has national and state protection because of its history, it won't be torn down. The question now is, what's next? <laughs>